Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today I want to show you how to use switcher presets. Now these allow you to save different state changes within your program preview and mix effect rows and then recall those with just a touch of a button. Let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so here we are in our TriCaster TC1 interface, and the first thing I want to show you is how to save the presets on your program and preview row. So to do that, let's go ahead and we'll just make a mental note here of I have uh, mix effect one over on my program row, and then I have input number three in my preview, and let me go ahead and bring in my lower third here, which just says switcher preset number one so that we can visually tell what we're doing here. So to access your switcher presets, you have to go all the way to the left of the screen and you'll see this little blue arrow over here and that'll pop out a little menu here with nine different places to save your presets. So to take a snapshot of that simply click on the camera icon here. All right and let's go ahead and I'm going to right click on it and show you some of the different options we have available to us. We can rename it so I'm just going to say uh, preset one but then we also have options to where we can import a uh, file that we saved for a preset or even export this to use within another session or a different TriCaster if you'd like. Uh, also you can save it to be just a default or just clear it out altogether. So all right now what I want to do is make a completely different state of my program preview and downstream keyers. So let's go ahead and select input number two on preview. We'll leave myself here on screen but on my downstream keyer two let's select graphics two which says Switch your preset to. All right, move back over to our presets and take a snapshot. Boom. All right, and I'll rename that preset two. Okay, now what's cool about this, I'm gonna go ahead and click on preset one and you'll notice that both my preview and downstream keyers will now change back to what I had them previously. Boom, so it saves the settings on my downstream keyer and my preview row. And I can do this mix and match that through all of these. So it's a really cool way of saving different uh, presets at just a touch of a button and then move those around in your sessions if you like. So let me go ahead and clear this out. And the next thing I want to show you is my favorite, which is saving uh, presets within a mix effect. So on my particular mix effect here, uh, this is just a, my virtual set where I'm just, you know, an A over B. So I have myself here as uh, my subject and then also behind me this new tech logo. So what I want to do is using my comps engine, let's go ahead and save different uh, shots to use for later on. So let's open up our comps window here and I have this close up of me and my virtual set. But then using my positioner, let's zoom this out to a wide shot and I'll save that over here in number two. And this will all make sense here in a bit. So now what I'm gonna do is save this entire mix effect preset over here into number one. So we'll click that and let me rename it Richard on a virtual set, slick. All right, and from here, let's right click on it and I'm going to export this so I can use this later on. So let's say export, and I will just save that as Richard on a virtual set. Cool. All right, now let's just go ahead and mess all of this up. I'm gonna clear this preset out. And on this screen behind me here, let's change the source of that to something else overall. We'll put some lightning back there, all right? Bring in the storm. Now, uh, I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. Let's just mess up the angle all together uh, just so you can see that this is gonna be a little wonky, all right? Uh, so I'll go ahead and I wanna go back to how I had all of this before. So to do that, I will right click on my preset number one. We'll say import. Select Richard on a virtual set. Open that. And now if I open up my comps window here, you'll see that I have all of my shots that I had before. So I have my close up and my wide shot. So as you can see, using presets is a powerful way to save and recall different save states on your switcher rows and your mix effects with just a touch of a button. Now you can assign those to different macros and fire those off however you want. 
Now, if you like this demonstration but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo to sign up for a personalized demonstration by yours truly, and I will show you all the ins and outs of our TriCaster systems. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at newtechinc, and for more videos like this and other customer testimonials and demos, go to youtube.com slash newtechinc. Until next time, thank you for watching.